Hello everyone. Today I'd like to spend a few minutes talking about computers programming and computer programming to give sort of an overview to this course. This talk today is aimed mostly at people who have not taken a computer science course before, uh, such as maybe you've taken CSC 120 or 121, or you've learned another programming language. If that's the case, you probably don't need uh, this particular talk. On the other hand, if this is the first time you walked into a computer science classroom, you might want to spend a few minutes listening to me drone on. And I'm going to be talking about what you'll be doing with your life for the next 16 weeks. We will define some terms, algorithm, computer, program, and we'll also outline the process of programming. First, let's talk about algorithms or what an algorithm is. An algorithm is a finite sequence of instructions to accomplish a specific task. For example, maybe I want a cake. I'll take German chocolate. But a recipe for baking a cake is a set of instructions for accomplishing the task of baking a cake. Maybe I want to go visit the beach. A route from Wake Tech to the Outer Banks is a specific set of instructions to take me from Wake Tech to the Outer Banks and the beach. So that is the idea of an algorithm, a specific set of instructions to accomplish a specific task. I say these instructions is a, I say this is a finite sequence because if the set of instructions is not a finite, that means it's infinite, and I'm not going to live long enough to see the result. Next, let's talk about what is a computer. If you look in the textbook, they talk about processors and hard drives and electronics and everything. I actually have a much simpler definition of what a computer is. A computer is a device that executes a stored program. Let's talk about the word executes for a moment. Each type of computer has a set of instructions that it can perform. And when we execute a stored program, we are arranging those instructions in a certain sequence so that the computer is going to do what we want. These instructions are different for every computer for the Intel processor versus an ARM processor that's running an Android smartphone, for instance. These instructions are different for each computer, but they really are variations on a theme. By that, I mean think of driving different makes of cars. The dash is going to be arranged differently between one make and another make of car. Or a four-function calculator. The lower right-hand button on a four-function calculator might be the equal sign. It might be the plus operator. It might be zero. It might be a lot of different things. Each one of these things is different, but once you've mastered one, you can probably figure out the others. And so now, let's talk about this stored program that our computer can execute. A program is a set of instructions that accomplishes a specific task. Now, you're probably starting to think, or have we hit rerun season already? No, but I admit that we're close. We think of an algorithm as a generic thing. One route will get you to the outer banks, regardless of what make of car you're driving. But the differences between those makes of cars that you may be driving will affect how you look at the dash. You don't want to get the tachometer mixed up with the speedometer. You don't want to get the temperature gauge mixed up with the fuel gauge. So we have one algorithm, but the minutia differ depending on the particular machine that you're going to be using. 
So to summarize this, an algorithm is a generic thing. Programs are specific machine dependent things. So one algorithm will suffice to, for a program written for an Intel machine. That same algorithm can be translated into a different program to run on an ARM machine for your Android smartphone. So what is programming? We are given a task. Actually, you'll be given a task, such as write a program so that you can estimate your grade in this course. That's always an interesting topic. Once, we're get, once you're given the task, you will create an algorithm to accomplish that task. And then we encode that algorithm into the instructions for a specific computer, or in our case, into a higher level language that can be executed on a wide variety of computers, Java for us. And the textbook does a good job of explaining the compilation and execution process for Java programs. Uh, by the way, we, when we say we encode an algorithm into Java, we shorten the word encode and say code. We code our algorithm in Java. So let's summarize this process for programming. We're given a task. We create an algorithm, generic instructions, to accomplish that task, and then we code our algorithm in Java so that we can run, and we'll have to debug along the way, our program. That's the process of programming that you'll be doing for the next 16 weeks. So let's summarize. We've talked about what an algorithm is. We've talked talked about what a computer is, and we talked about what a stored program is. And lastly, we've talked about this process of how we're going to develop our programs. And so I hope this helps. I hope this puts some conceptual framework about what you're going to be doing. And if there are any questions, be sure to ask your instructor. I wish you all a wonderful semester. Bye.